This isn't what I expected it to be like. Honestly, I thought by now I'd want to go back. I landed an internship at my dream, dream company. Like dream, dream company where I thought I was going to climb the corporate ladder for years and years and years. I swore by that. About seven months in, one day after lunch, I sat at my desk staring at my coworker who sat in front of me, who had been working at that company for about 18 years. It was at that moment that my mind just couldn't let go of the fact that that wasn't what I wanted for myself. It was as if that day, the switch had like changed in my mind. What I thought I had wanted for such a long time just wasn't that anymore. Of course, that day I had no idea what would happen. It's not like my life changed that same day. But what I did realize that day is that I didn't want to be in that desk, in the same company, sitting there year after year, every day of the week, even if it was in the best company, in the nicest building in all of Miami. I knew I didn't want that. A lot happened between there, but nine months ago, I decided to put all my stuff in storage, pack my bags, start booking flights to the places that I had on my list, and here we are since then. I work remotely, I always have. I founded an agency around 2018, I run a newsletter that gets sent out every week and I also create content. So my plate is pretty full. I'm lucky enough to say that I'm super passionate about what I do in my day to day. So I wanted that to stay exactly the same. It's just the background that needed a change. And if I'm honest, it's pretty much what I've been doing the past years where I would do a new city every year, except now it's a new city every month. So I've had the chance to explore Columbia, I went back to the US, but to Seattle, which was a part that I had never lived in, then Japan, Thailand, Portugal, and currently I'm in Spain. Each country is so unique on its own and I've loved every single one of them, but if you had to make me pick like a top three for working and traveling at the same time, number one would be for Lisbon, Portugal. Number two would probably be for Rawai in Phuket, Thailand. And number three would have to go to Chiang Mai as well in Thailand. And it's definitely not what people paint it to be on social media. I'm not sitting with my laptop every day by the beach. That's far from the reality. My day-to-day -day actually looks exactly the same as when I was back in Florida. The routines, what I'm doing, my work schedule, Literally what's changing is the background and what I'm doing in my free time after work. But each place has taught me so, so, so much. And I know a lot of people say it, that a place is a place because of the people, but that's something that now I can definitely confirm because my top places are always the ones where I've found that community, where we've made like the best friendships. That's honestly so true. And of course, I've been learning along the way, adding in like my checklist of, okay, this is what I need, this is what I don't need, this is what I'm looking for. Having like that digital nomad community there is obviously a huge, huge, huge plus. And just little things that you learn along the way, like for example, I learned that I need to be in a place for at least a month to make it feel like home, to actually be able to explore it while keeping up my day-to-day -day routine. By now, I thought I'd be tired. I thought for sure it would be like a six month thing, get it out of my system and then I'd be back home. But that's definitely not the case. I'm excited. My list of places just keeps growing and growing and growing. I'm planning the next months. I'm excited for what's in store, even down the line like next year. And in case you're wondering, business is booming. I also remember when I would sit back and watch how other people were doing it. And in the back of my head, I just sat there like wondering and wanting to ask so many questions on how it was actually done. Like how did they actually get there? How does that actually even happen? So if I could share what has actually helped me in this journey, it'd probably be these four things. Sit down and actually ask the real questions on how it's done. Go find out the real cost. Make a list of the actual places you want to go. 
where you would stay, how long, like the real, real information that I think we always have in the back of our heads, but we never actually do the due diligence, the due diligence, do the actually get the real information down. Number two, pivoting. Pivoting has been so important. Like I said, I founded an agency at the beginning and that meant physical businesses that I would go in, that we would help, that we would create content for it, we would do so much for. And that has meant saying no to a lot of things, saying no to clients, saying no to services that we would offer. And maybe at one point something sounded super exciting and then I would have to actually think about, hold on, in five years down the line, is this what I want to be doing? In 10 years down the line, is this what I've been doing? I mean, maybe that year it was exactly what I wanted to do, but that doesn't mean that down the line it still has to be exactly. It's like being a willing to change your path and to pivot no matter what. Nothing is that hard yes and set in stone. Back to number three, questioning everything. It's those questions again, but this time internally. Why do you want to keep working where you're working or doing what you're doing? Are you passionate about that? Are you passionate about where you live, where you're staying? Are you actually staying there because you want to or because people around you want you to? Just so many internal questions that I think we never ask ourselves, but that helps you to realize exactly what you want. Because of course, when you see other people doing cool things, that looks so exciting. That looks like, hey, I want to do that too. But that's so much easier to get up and follow somebody else's footsteps rather than you sitting down and questioning whether you want those footsteps to be your own. That's so much harder. And last but not least, just actually doing it. There's only so much information out there that others can give you for you to be prepared. The information and the learnings will come from the actual experience, from actually doing it and being there yourself. And that's the cold hard truth that it is going to take a leap of faith, that it is going to take you making those decisions to actually do it, but it's actually doing those that unlock these new chapters in life. I do have the next three months planned and I'm so, so, so excited. So take a guess where I'm headed to down in the comments. And also let me know if you want me to share more about the reality of uniting this like content and business with this traveling part because I feel like not a lot of people are talking about it. I do have to add that Instagram is always first to know where I'm headed to next. And it's also the spot where I share the recommendations from each of the places. So I would head over there. We about to make it happen, so